Yeah, I am an artist because I cannot imagine doing anything else. I don't know. Um, because I feel like it gets into like, just like almost like fundamental beliefs about society. I think that um, culture is just such an important part of any society. And I think uh, being a person that has a very, very small part in defining what that is, I think is a tremendous honor and something that I don't take lightly. And uh, um, I think, you know, without people like artists out there doing it, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I, I think it's super important and relevant. So, the inspiration for the painting, uh, it really kind of stems back to my time as an elementary school art teacher. And uh, a lot of my early work as a professional artist is super whimsical, very brightly colored, tons of movement. And uh, that's very much inspired by when I was an elementary school art teacher and just, you know, sort of, I mean, stealing great ideas from you know, the young creative minds of like little geniuses. And so uh, tackling a painting of this size, uh, I mean, you really, clearly a ton of thought has to go into the planning, but it also, uh, just because of its massive scale, uh, there's a lot of room for, uh, in my idea, like playful fun. And so I guess, uh, you know, when thinking about this, uh, I mean, I had a lot of different ideas churning, but um, I thought that that style of my artwork would lend itself best to this project. And so um, then when I started the first two tiny, tiny little thumbnail sketches, uh, they were kind of based on this series of work I did in 2013. And uh, as I was drawing those, uh, it was interesting because uh, the initial ones, Butler sort of was a tiny component of that. But uh, as I got in the room with the 20 by 40 foot canvas, uh, I mean, the composition changed a little bit. And I guess, I, I, I don't know if we want to do spoilers in the, the preview, but uh, I mean, I guess mentioning that Butler is even in it, I mean, would be a surprise to people. And so, um, I don't know, I guess the, in the long short of it, this painting is inspired by my early work. So I've done two large projects like this now. Uh, the first one was half, almost exactly half the size of this one. And I remember walking in the room of that first experience and I just, I couldn't believe how massive it was. And I think I actually, when James and I unrolled the canvas and you know, laid it out the first time, I, I kind of had that, that very small level of intimidation where you're like, this thing is massive. And in a weird way, uh, simultaneously, nothing can really prepare you for the size unless you've done it before. Uh, but in another way, uh, you know, having done a piece half this size, I think made it a little less intimidating because I mean, it, 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 I was talking to my mom this weekend and you know, I say 20 by 40 feet, but until she put a paintbrush on it and helped me a little bit and saw it on the stage of clues, I mean, it's massive. It's a big painting. So some, some of the techniques I used, uh, well, just general painting techniques, uh, just sort of all the things I've learned as a painter over the years, but this particular project required some creative solutions. I, some of the tools I used, uh, mops, uh, used mop in the early stages. Um, I'm trying to think, I used a commercial like weed sprayer throughout the entire piece up until the day before. Um, at one point I was using a park bench uh, to help create some effects using gravity. And so I was dragging apart, you can even see it in the time lapse, it's hilarious. But uh, so, you know, just because of its size, it, it, it lent itself to some creative problem solving that isn't present in normal studio work. So um, what was, it was weird, 
um, because it's, those are really heavy over there. It, they're really heavy. So I actually, I had to kind of use my back and scoot it underneath. It's in the time lapse. I, I actually, I made sure, because that's the other thing, the time lapse, it's just over 40,000 still photographs I'm gonna stitch together, 40,000. Which is, it, it doesn't transfer, it was one every 10 seconds. It didn't, uh, I think it's only 111 hours. Only. Only. But then I, I'm gonna also do the math to figure out, you know, all the helpers and all the hours that they put in. Because I mean, it easily has over 150 hours in it, combined effort. Um, well, one of the, the early hurdles to overcome is how do you draw it out at this size? So my, my original thumbnail sketches started at probably about an inch by two inches. Uh, then they, they, the next three I did were probably two inches by eight inches. And then the very next one I did was four feet by eight feet. And that ended up being my working composition for the painting. And uh, transferring a drawing that is even big by normal standards, four feet by eight feet, to 20 feet by 40 feet, uh, doing that accurately while it's on the floor, it's, it's tough. And so being able to see it from a higher vantage point definitely helped, but then it's, you know, that's a lot of backing back and forth, going up high, looking at the drawing, going on the ground. And so in order to create a lot of the really smooth transitions and lines that happen in the piece, uh, I had to attach a paintbrush to a paint pole and an extension paint pole. And then I would use really watery acrylic paint, uh, dip it in the bucket, and I would just use this extension pole to get these like really, you know, these 20 foot long fluid lines in the piece. So, um, yeah, I mean, drawing it out was an early challenge. But then, uh, you know, finding that balance of tightly rendered versus painterly uh, became super difficult towards the end because you want the painting to read great as a whole. But then when people start to look at individual elements, you want those to work as well. And so balancing high levels of refinement with real loose, painterly, abstract moments, uh, that became a little bit of a challenge too. You know, how far is too far one way, how far is too far the other way. And I mean, I'm biased, but I, I think it's found a nice balance.